Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we will be discussing secure coding practices, and in this case, writing secure software. In today's digital world, developing software, uh, secure software is crucial to protect against cyber threats and safeguard sensitive information. In this video, we'll cover some essential secure coding practices that you should follow when writing software to ensure security. So right over here we see a little code snippet, and in this code snippet, um, this just uh, prompts the user to enter a positive a a integer. If the user enters something that is not an integer, integer or is not positive, the code will display a message, an error message, and prompt the user again until they enter a valid input. So uh, now one of the fundamental practices in secure coding is input validation. It's important to validate all user inputs to your software to prevent vulnerabilities like SQL injection or cross-site scripting, XSS attacks, which I would like to teach later on in this channel. Always sanitize and validate any data received from external resources, uh, sources, such as user input or APIs, to ensure it meets expected criteria and does not pose a security risk. Um, so this next part is uh, this other piece of code, now I actually had to split it because it wouldn't fit on the page, but uh, it's right here. This is all written in Python. So uh, this code snippet uses the Flask web framework to create a simple web application with two routes, uh, slash and slash admin. The authenticate uh, uh, decorator uh, is used to require that the user provides valid authentication credentials, in this case, a username of admin and a password of password before accessing either route. The at authorized decorator is used on the slash admin route to require that the authenticated user also has the admin role before accessing the route. Authentication and authorization are critical aspects of secure coding. Properly implement uh, authentication to verify the identity of users and ensure only authorized users can access protected resources. Use strong authentica uh, authentication mechanisms, such as multi-factor authentication, MFA, to enhance security. Additionally, implement fi fine-grained authorization controls to limit access privileges based on user roles and permissions, and perform regular audits to ensure proper access management. So this next part over here, uh, this code snippet uses crypt uh, crypt the cryptography library to generate a symmetric encryption key save it to the file, and then use it to encrypt and decrypt some data. So encryption is a crucial practice in secure coding. It helps protect sensitive data from unauthorized access. Always use strong encryption algorithms and follow best practices for encryption, such as using proper key management, using secure key storage mechanisms, and encrypting data both in transit and at rest. Avoid using weak encryption methods or rolling your own encryption algorithms, as it can be vulnerable to attacks. Um, now, I just wanted to uh, say some quick uh, best practices. So, um, in addition to these specific practices that we covered, there are several general best practices for secure coding. So, uh, use, uh, use trusted libraries and frameworks with a good security track record. Keep your software and dependencies up to date with the latest security patches and conduct regular security audits to identify and address any vulnerabilities. Follow the principle of, le of least privilege, minimize the attack surface, and apply defense in depth strategies to layer your security defenses. And there's just some more on the screen. So here's just a quick recap. Uh, up on the screen for you guys of what we covered in the video and well that's a wrap by implementing secure coding practices you can greatly reduce the risk of security breaches in your software remember to always prioritize security in your development projects and fo follow industry best practices thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more cybersecurity tips and techniques if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to like and subscribe uh, and if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.